Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having a very, very nice Thanksgiving Day break. Um, if you guys are on vacation this week, let me know. I took off Wednesday, had off Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, so I am so happy that this is a long weekend and that I can share some videos with you guys. So my daughter and I recently went to Sierra and then my mom and I recently went to TJ Maxx and Oshkosh and I did pick up a few things and I wanted to share with you guys what I got. So let's start out with TJ Maxx first. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be putting this video up on Thanksgiving, after Thanksgiving or whatnot. So some of these items um, are for Thanksgiving, but that's okay. So the first thing I found as I was like browsing the store, and by the way, we went shopping on um, Widow's, like Widow's Weekend, which basically means um, all of the men this weekend, it was like open deer hunting season. So they just like classify that as like Widow's Weekend, like your husband's away, so you go shop and play. Um, and it was packed, like literally people like body to body packed. Um, and I was just like browsing the store and I did come across these dinner plates. Now these are by Jessica Simpson and these are plastic dinner plates. And I don't know if they're reusable or not, but I thought this is going to be perfect for Thanksgiving. They're very, very heavy, like plastic, I think. But these big ones were $5.99 and they're just like, you know, better than a paper plate, um, better than like a regular plastic plate, but still cheap and inexpensive, but they still look good. So this one was $5.99. I got the big one. And then I also got the small little dessert plates. I don't know, for $5.99, can you wash them and use them again? Maybe a few times. I don't know. I'll have to see. But I just thought that these were a good idea. So there are 24 dessert plates and the big plates have 12. Um, and like I said, a little bit more pricey than paper plates, but still a little bit fancy, you know. Um, I went into the body care section next and didn't really find much. Not that I needed anything because I really don't need any, body, any more body care. But I did find this for my daughter. She loves taking bubble baths. She loves the lavender fragrance, so I found the Griffin um, Bubble Bear, and this is in blueberry, is it blueberry lavender? Bulgarian lavender. She loves lavender. I love lavender, but this is for her, not for me. Um, this one was $9.99, and I do believe that the bears used to run $7.99 maybe? And then I saw them jump up to $12.99, so $9.99 isn't that bad. And you get a lot of product in here as well. And this cute little bear, so, so cute. Um, next, I also found some Pooh Potpourri. I was actually looking for some DW, uh, like bathroom spray or room spray. They didn't have any, like I said, body to body. I just literally wanted to get in and out. So I found the Pooh Spray. And this one is in Fresh Snow. There is that there. And then they also had this one. This is um, a holiday one. And this is, oh shoot, I don't have my glasses on you guys. And the lettering is so small. I think it's like a Christmas tree, but it says, oh, spritz something tree. I don't know. Um, but that's what that one looks like here. And I like the green color on it. Really festive, really cute. So I will be putting this out for Christmas time or like Thanksgiving time. These, by the way, were $4.99 for the two of them or for each of them. And then what else is in here? Oh, I know. Um, I got something for, I call him my son-in-law. He's not really my son-in-law, but you know, it is what it is. Um, he loves uh, basketball like a huge basketball fan so I got him a basketball mug he loves the bucks and I just thought that this was super cute I believe this is the um infamous well it kind of looks like the what is that called again 
shoot, I can't think of the brand name of like what TJ Maxx is known for with their mugs and they have like, you know what I'm talking about? It'll come to me and then I'll put it up here and then I'll be pissed off that I didn't remember it while I was recording. But anyway, I just think that this is so cute. So super cute little coffee mug for him. Oh, and then I found these for me. Hold on a second. Okay, I had to get this cup from my kitchen to show you guys kind of what I was talking about. I'm gonna be throwing this away, but I bought a set of like four of these cups from TJ Maxx probably like two or three years ago, if not longer. And they are like, they're the recycled glass ones. I really, really like the shape of these. I like the color because they go with all of my dinnerware that's like peacock themed. But I don't know if you guys can tell, it's super cloudy, the cup. Look at that, like right in there. And I don't know if it's because I put it in the dishwasher and that's why that happened. But like, it seems like there's like this film on it that I just can't get rid of. And I don't know what to do to get rid of it. And that happened maybe like a year after I was done using these. So I'm just going to put that there. So I got some new like glasses and it's a set of four halo glasses. These were $12.99 and I love them. I think they are so cool. I love the texture of them. I like the color of them. They match, um, you know, my dinnerware that I have now. Just something, I just wanted like a set of something like if I wanted to have milk in my cup or if I had a guest over and they wanted some Olipop or something like that with ice that I could put like a really nice glass in. You guys, these are super heavy, very heavy glass. I really like them a lot. These are nice. So let me know in the comments down below, is there something that I did to my glasses with the dishwasher that they clouded up like that? And is there something that I can do so it doesn't happen with these, which there's texture on the outside of these. So even I guess if it does happen, you won't be able to see it. But still, anyway, engage in my videos and leave a comment down below and let me know. Okay, so the, that was the TJ Maxx haul. Here we have the Sierra haul. Um, this is my second time going to Sierra and I was kind of looking around and my son-in-law also likes flannel. So I did, you guys, pick him up a flannel and I really like it. He loves like wild colors, like bright colors. Um, and bright colors look really, really well on him because he's got like the dark skin and the beautiful eyes and he's got long black dreads. So this is going to look perfect on him. Um, I got him this flannel here and it is like an orangish kind of mustardy yellow color. And then it's got the navy blue in there and the white going down. And I just thought that it was super cute. Um, this was $30 and this is the brand, the North face. So there's also pockets here on the side and it is, like I said, a little bit of a heavier flannel. So it'll be perfect for winter and stuff like that. And he likes, um, like he doesn't wear these. How can I describe this? I feel like there's two different types of people who wear flannels. There's like the hipster and then there's like the farm boy. He's definitely the hipster type. So this is going to look very, very nice on him. Um, as you guys know, I loved those ginger candies that I got the last time I was there at Sierra. I did look for these at TJ Maxx and I did not find them. But this one is by the same company, uh, Gem Gem Ginger Candy. This is in Zesty Lemon. These were so good, especially when I had a cold and I was coughing and things. Um, each one of these is 15 calories and I probably ate half of the bag um, on the first go around, whatever. And then the second one that I picked up is OO Orange. They did have two other flavors, a mango, which I was kind of unsure about, and maybe just like the plain ginger which I kind of like like a little bit of lemon or a little bit of orange in my ginger. So hopefully those will be good. And I also found you guys hemp's lotion. 
Now, I it, it takes me a very, very long time to go through my Hemp's Lotion, but when I saw these, these were the only two left, and I knew if I didn't grab them, I would never see them again. So these Hemp's were $12.99, and we have the classic Peppermint Vanilla Swirl. And I have seen this one before, but not in this packaging. I really, really like the packaging of this one with the swirl of the candy. And then I've never seen this one before. This one is Frosted Mint. If you guys have seen this, leave a comment down below and let me know. Um, I don't know if I'm going to give these as gifts. I have to be quiet because my daughter is in the, in the room right next to me filming. I don't know if I'm going to be giving these as gifts or if I'm going to keep them myself. If anything, I will give this one as a gift and I will keep this one for myself because like I said, I've never had the frosted mint before and that sounds amazing. So anyway, you guys, I started the Christmas shopping experience. I am getting into the groove of things. My goal is every single weekend, I take all of the items that I purchased throughout the week and that weekend and I wrap them right away. I do need to buy masking tape. This way, everything will be wrapped in small quantities instead of waiting until last minute and having to wrap every single little thing and having it take like three plus hours. Like that's not my vibe. So anyway, leave a comment down below if you guys want to see these hauls coming. I will keep on showing you guys, but I hope you guys all have a great day and I will see you soon. Bye everyone.